Ahsoka Tano is a Jedi who has appeared in both seasons of The Mandalorian. Now, of course, Ahsoka is famous for her appearances in The Clone Wars and Rebels, and now, Tales of the Jedi and The Mandalorian. So, could we be seeing her in Season 3? I believe it could be as soon as next episode. Now, it was revealed recently that the fourth episode of The Mandalorian will be one of the shortest ones, but there are a couple reasons to believe this could be one that Ahsoka appears in. Now, before we get into why, I just want to say a couple things. One, traction on a fan fiction I put together, the first one I ever did a few days ago. It seems to have really picked up today, and I really appreciate that, truly. I just kind of made it, not knowing how it would turn out, not knowing the support it would get, but a lot of comments are asking for a part two, and I'm going to say, I'll work on that tonight and have it out hopefully tomorrow or this weekend. So look forward to that. Thank you for the support. Please do consider subscribing to help grow this daily Star Wars community. Thank you. Now, Ahsoka Tano appearing in Mandalorian Season 3, it doesn't really seem to fit with where we're at in the story. We just visited Coruscant for a while, saw Dr. Pershing get his, well, get his mind flayed, brains scrambled, who knows where that's, I mean, he's got to be out completely, right? Who knows? But that wasn't good. And then on the Mandalorian side, we just saw Din Djarin and Bo-Katan meet up with the ch children of the watch. So who knows where that story is going? I think they're going to stick around. Bo is going to, you know, maybe, I, honestly, I want to see her become not an antagonist, but kind of rile up the group, maybe take her helmet off, maybe go find the mythosaur. But where would Ahsoka fit in this? And why would she be appearing? Well, recently, Rosario Dawson posted something on Instagram with this caption. Now, you can read it for yourself, determine what you think it means, but she says it in the end, kind of coming back next week for Mando. Now, if she truly was, I don't think she gets away with posting this. I think John and Dave probably say, hey, what are you doing? You know, take it down. And it's still up as of this moment recording. But the other thing, Dave Filoni is actually writing this next episode. And Dave Filoni has direct control over pretty much everything with Ahsoka, whether it's been Clone Wars, Tales of the Jedi, Rebels, or all the Mandalorian episodes she's been in, Dave has been directly involved, and Dave is credited with writing this next episode. So, if there's ever going to be an Ahsoka one, the hints seem to be pointing to this one. Now, it's still a long shot, because, you know, what was she doing? What? How could she get involved? I do have a couple theories on that. If you want to involve it with the Coruscant stuff, maybe she's involved with the New Republic a little bit, investigating Coruscant, maybe trying to find out more stuff about Pershing, the cloning stuff, but I think that's a long shot. I think she would be involved with Mando, Grogu, and Bo-Katan. Of course, seeing her back with Bo would be really cool, but what could they be doing? Perhaps Mando needs to go on a fairly dangerous mission, M more dangerous than usual, of course, because he's known for his dangerous missions, but one that he fears Grogu just is not suited to come with on, something that Grogu is just not ready for. Where would Mando go to drop off Grogu, either with Grief Karga or with the Jedi, Ahsoka and Luke? And the reason I think he could be dropping them off with Luke, or dropping Grogu off with Luke and Ahsoka mainly, is because of that Order 66 flashback scene we get in the trailer. As far as we know, a Jedi does have to access Grogu's mind for him to remember that as of right now. Yes, maybe he can train himself to get to that point, but last we saw, he had to, you know, be helped by Luke. Maybe that's what's in the trailer, the Order 66 flashback, and maybe that's this next episode. Maybe. The other thing that could be possible, Bo and Din and Grogu, they all go investigate the TIE Interceptors. Where did they come from? Of course, these the ones that blew up Bo's home in the most recent episode. They go try to investigate where they come from, why are they coming for Bo, and they go maybe find this common enemy, and when they find it, whoever it may be, Gideon, Thrawn, Ahsoka has already beat them to the punch and is there to help, perhaps. Those are my theories, mainly either Din drops Grogu off, or they meet up with Ahsoka, kind of on accident, to fight a bigger bat. But let me know, what do you think this could be? Because with only five episodes left, they've really got to start ramping it up. It's a short episode, but short episode doesn't mean bad episode. So let me know. I want to know your comments. Do you hope we see Ahsoka? Could we see Ahsoka? Is this a long shot? Am I just fanboy dreaming? Probably, but let me know anyway. 
and let me know what you would like to see. Of course, leave a like, subscribe, and be looking forward to part two of the fan fiction very soon. And if you haven't seen part one, what if Obi-Wan turned to the dark side after Maul destroyed Satine? You go check that out. All right. See you soon. Thank you, everybody. Peace.